Hi, I'm Randy and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like hi-fi equipment, speakers, amps, DACs, turntables, receivers, should cost more than an awesome rowboat, handmade from mahogany. And these don't. What are they? They're the Dolly Spectre 2s. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about this these scandalous Scandinavian speakers. The Dolly Spectre. Today's sponsor is Generic Hair Putty for men. Yeah, when uh, you want your hair to look fancy, but you're on a budget, get some Generic Hair Putty for men. It smells like lemons. Very, very powerful. It's like I sprayed Lysol in my mouth. Okay, Dolly. Spectre 2s, all right? $350. Five and a quarter inch wood fiber woofer. I love these woofers. They're really cool looking. Red. Yeah. One inch soft dome tweeter with like a Spider-Man waveguide looking thing. Makes it sound better. My spy spider senses are tingling because I think it, I have a good speaker. All right. They're rated at... Hold on. 54 hertz up to 26,000 hertz. They're 84.5 dB sensitive. That 0.5 dB is real important when you're pairing up amps, okay? Did I have a problem driving them? Not really. Um, I even used a tube amp bug in here. Tube amp, the Bayou Range MT34 Mark II. I also use the SMSL DA9 as well as the Anthem Integrated 225. Anthem's kind of like my reference amp, that and the Emotivas, because I know how they sound really well, and I've been listening to a lot of Class D stuff lately. I had to kind of reset my brain before I listen to these. Okay. They come in black or walnut. These are walnut. All right. And they are reported. Okay. Mining posts. They look good. Whoa, there's a lot of... Fingerprints. Here, let's do this side. That's much better. Much better than this one. It looked like someone flipped an omelet on this side. Okay, we'll look at this one. Very nice. I mean, it's vinyl, but it looks good. All right. And then the front baffle is a different color. Designed in Denmark. I don't know where they're made. Made in China. Designed in Denmark. Made in China. Dolly is a Danish speaker company. Some people corrected me on the first video when I did the initial impressions between the Dolly Spectre 2 and the Q Acoustics 3020i. Dolly's from Denmark, Daneland, Denmark. Fun fact about uh, Denmark. Bluetooth is actually named after, is made in Sweden, but it was named after a Danish Viking, uh, King Harold Bluetooth. And I'm not making that up. That's a real fun fact for you. And it's audio related, okay? Let's talk about soundstage and imaging. Soundstage and imaging, really good. I changed it up. Uh, I'm on Fire by Bruce Springsteen. Hey little girl, is your daddy home? I'll get the door and leave you all alone on the door. Got a man to your side. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm fine. Apparently that song's about a car. I thought it was just about someone that's getting ready to put it, get put on the sex offender registry, but it's not about a car. Who knew? Anyway, that song is really nice. I'm sure the people from Dolly really love that reference and talking point. Anyway, the soundstage is really good. Bruce, dead center. Acoustic guitar coming on the right. Drums coming on the left. Very good. Very well delineated. Chocolate Chip Trip by Tool. Um... Seamless travel, okay? I had these, I, I tried them in many different places. It's towed slightly out, directly in, and then crossing the streams, as Ron Burgundy likes to say over at New Record Day. Anyway, soundstage and imaging was very good. I also had the same experience with the Spectre Ones. Uh, I think it has a lot to do with the tweeter and the waveguide or horn. Uh, it's very good, okay? And Bruce's voice seemed like it was separated in the middle and then above 
the instruments. Quite good. Hello by Adele. She's locked in dead center. Also, Allison Chains, MTV Unplugged. I did a lot of listening to that record. Very spacious and deep, deep soundstage. I had these about 16 inches from the wall uh, in the office, and then out in the living room, I had them about 16 inches from the wall. Okay. Let's talk about bass. Bass. Highway to Hell, ACDC. Very good. Very tight. Um, I use that song to see if a speaker is bumped in that range because if it's bumped, that means the roll-off is usually not very good. It was not bumped. It was very tight, very lean almost, but it was accurate. And I've heard that same kind of sound signature on different speakers that were very mm, flat on the bass. Very accurate. Doesn't mean they're not good bass. Uh, quite frankly, Intergalactic by the Beastie Boys, the roll-off of the speaker is very good. I didn't feel like the bass was bumped or out of line with any of the other sound signature on the speaker. It was very well done. So what? Miles Davis, Kind of Blue. Coltrane was on that record too. Very good. The tone and texture of the bass and the bass clarity was as good. Now, it's probably the best that I've heard out of a speaker at this price range. So bass very good um it's not bumped it's not a bass cannon it's not a bass monster it's not overwhelming at all very well blended with the rest of the sound signature let's talk about mid-range 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 on this speaker mm, leans a bit full and i like that so Alice in Chains, MTV Unplugged, pretty much the whole record. I listened to that for vocals, uh, harmonies in the vocals, as well as acoustic guitars and the bass. Um, all well done. Uh, leans a little bit rich, which is good. I like that. I like a little fullness. So I'm not saying there's not detail in the mid-range. There is. Male vocals were very good. Female vocals, Hello by Adele, um, leaned a bit full which was good, but it did not give any, it, you, you weren't missing clarity or the details in her voice. It was very good. And frankly, um, with it being crossed over at 2,600, that woofer is taking on the majority of the mid-range load when it comes to vocals. And it did a very good job, but it's a different kind of sound than when a tweeter takes on more of the mid-range vocals. So very good, but uh, it's not going to knock you out of your face with detail uh, in the uh, in the mid range, but it's very well done. And female vocals are very smoky and rich and quite nice. Okay, I like the mid range. Mid range is really good. It's got a little bit of character, a little bit of extra butter. Let's talk about treble. 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 Mmm. I'll put it over here. Harvester of Sorrow by Metallica, okay? A lot of stuff going on in this song with the cymbals, okay? A lot of offbeat stuff, a lot of cymbals that are hit without the bass drum. And when a cymbal is hit without a bass drum, it kind of seems odd. Because usually when a, when, usually when a drummer is hitting the cymbals, they're also hitting the, the bass drum, or kick drum, as some people like to say. Anyway, there's a lot of offbeat cymbals hits, and there's a lot of cymbal hits without the bass drum. And... It was great. Very good. Very realistic. I think, um, hold on. I got real fancy with this and wrote down actual times. Okay. 56 seconds offbeat symbol hit. Really good. Really glad I grabbed my notes to tell you that this is the 56 second mark. Okay. Uh, minute 17, uh, offbeat symbol without the bass drum. Very realistic. That's pretty much exactly what I told you. Okay. Anyway, that song's a lot of fun. Oh, at the beginning of the song also, there's like a... in the background, all right? A lot of that's in the time domain, which is trouble. It was very good. It gave you a very big sense of space and air, just like it did on Alice in Chains, MTV Unplugged, okay? Symbols, treble, air, well done. Well done, Dolly Spectre 2. What are my final thoughts?
Final thoughts on the Donnelly Spectre 2. Very good. Very good speaker. Very polite, refined in this price category. I don't think there's anything that's going to compete with this as far as refinement. And what do I mean by refinement? I mean subtle details in the bass. Uh, sense of openness and airiness. Nothing feeling out of place. I didn't measure these speakers, but from my ear, measuring with my ear robot speaker measuring device, uh, I felt like it was pretty flat, very nice. Nothing was bumped or out of place. There is maybe, it could be argued that this speaker isn't as detailed as other, i.e. Emotiva, Airmotive, B1+, Plus, but that's actually not a bad thing. And the reason why it's not a bad thing is because all recordings are going to sound pretty good on this speaker. There's not going to be anything that seems like, oh my goodness, I wish that was recorded better. Uh, it's going to play well with pretty much maybe not optimally recorded stuff. 350 What else is in this price range? Q Acoustics 3020i. A little bit of a different speaker. Uh, this speaker probably wears a suit to work. The... Q Acoustics maybe wears, I don't know, orange jumpsuit when it goes to prison. I'm just kidding. The Qs are really good speakers, but they're a little bit different, okay? Very good speaker. This is going to need a subwoofer in even small rooms, medium rooms. It hits low, but it doesn't have like, uh, it doesn't have an in-your-face breast, breast doesn't have an in-your-face bass presence. I wish it had the other. That would be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? Sorry. Um, it doesn't have an in-your-face bass presence, okay? Larger rooms far out from the wall, you're going to be wanting a subwoofer. Uh, smaller rooms closer up to a wall, pretty good. Uh, not bad. I still personally would probably put a sub if I was going to use these as like my office speakers or whatever. All right. This thing really came off the rails tonight. Anyway, if you want to support the channel, you can. You can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night, we have patron-only Zooms. We also have patron-only content and patron-only Facebook group where we get together and chit-chat. You can also sign up for Amazon Music HD for free. It's not just HD anymore. It's just unlimited. Now it's all HD. Click on the link, scroll down to the bottom, click try HD, or just click on the link and sign up. You'll get three months for free, and I, I get a couple of dollars. You can also buy these through the links or anything else that I've linked in there. Those are affiliate links. If you purchase something through those links, I get a small commission, okay? doesn't cost you any more, though. Great speaker here. Dolly has knocked it out of the park. They know what they're doing over there in Daneland. Kidding, Denmark. Um, they know what they're doing. They sound good. They're very, they're very well-behaved but exciting at the same time. It's a paradox. The Dolly Spectre 2s are a paradox. They're really awesome. Okay, they look good. They don't have magnetic grills. So if that's a if that's a deal breaker for you, you're probably going to want to move on because the Spectre 2s don't have magnetic grills. Okay. So don't binge watch anything on Hulu or Disney Plus unless it's like, I don't know, The Mandalorian or the new one. There's a new one out there, some Marvel thing. Binge listen to the Dolly Spectre 2s and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the cheap audio man.